for joining us on another episode of The Vegan Pulse. I am your host, Nancy Arenas. Today, my guest is Jonathan O'Hayan. He is the founder and CEO of FAKE, which is an acronym for Fashion for Animal Kingdom and Environment. And he is also the co-founder of Orsayo. Stick around. I'd like to introduce him to you. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? (laughs) <laughs> Good and you? <laughs> I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for joining me and my viewers today. I surely appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm kind of very excited because I want people to find out about what you're doing and everything. But first, can you tell us a little bit about your journey to veganism? Yes. So actually, I became vegan because I I became sick after eating a steak. And, uh, and I was super sick for like two days, like horrible and uh, I talked to my cousin I, ca- I told him why when you're sick you always eat just apple soup you know healthy things that like only vegetables why we don't just eat like that always if if we that when we seek to recovery and he told me oh that's funny you you say that I just watched a, a speech from Gary Urofsky uh, I don't know if you saw it on YouTube and I saw this speech and I cried for like an hour and I threw everything in my house and I decided to go vegan from like a, a second right away after the speech. <laughs> oh, awesome. I love him. He's one of my heroes, Gary Urofsky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you listen to us, we love you. <laughs> love you, Gary. <laughs> and, um, and then, so what I'm, I'm excited about is um, to talk about the fake movement. So tell us about that. So, yes, it's like a journey. Like you say, I became vegan like six, a a little more than six years ago, almost seven years. And uh, and I feel my vegan state of mind uh, start after like a year or two, uh, you know, realizing that um, it's it's way bigger, that vegan doesn't mean just taking care of the animals. It means taking care of the entire animals, so humans as well. And, uh, and combining all this value with everything you do in life. And it took me like a year or two to realize that. And so uh, we had this uh, business with my uh, dad and brother. We created a backpack. I have one here. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> so it's a, yeah, it's a secured backpack actually, because when it's closed, you cannot open it because it's closed on the back. So when you wait, it's secured. And um, with my brother, who became vegan at the exact same moment than me, because I sent him the video and he became vegan as well. And so we tell to our dad, the bag were already vegan, but it was made in China and it was synthetic. So the material were not the best. And uh, uh, we are based in France. So many China means a lot of um, uh, transportation, you know, in the ocean to come there. So we decided to go from a vegan brand to a, 100% ethical. So the material we use now, it's 100% cork and uh, it's made in Portugal. So it's way closer from France. Um, and then we realized, wait, there's a lot of brands like us that are not just vegan, but as well 100% ethical. And they, they make sure that uh, nobody ha- ha- suffered for the product or anything. And so we we decided to, to create a movement because it doesn't exist, you know, a place where you can we can all help each other and not just vegan, but as well ethically made and and try to collaborate all together. So yeah, I, I had this idea for a long time of creating a brand called Fake. I felt like it was nice. And then I start to realize, wait, fake, we can say fashion for animal kingdom and environment. And then, okay, let's create this movement. And now we just actually, two days ago, we just got a uh, hundred brands. So now we have a hundred brands that are part of the movement. Uh, you can find them on the website, fakemovement.com. And uh, yeah, that's what it's all about, promoting vegan and ethical fashion brands. <laughs> that's awesome. And we will have on the show, on our um, social media, links to your fake uh, website and to yeah. our, our show is the name of your company? Yeah, Arsayo. It's actually Arsayo. the three name of the, it's my sibling, like AR is my brother, Ari. Uh-huh. SA is my sister Sabine and needs Jonathan, so Arsayo. <laughs> I love that. And you know, I, I do that. I write books 
and I mm. give uh, book names just like that. I take my daughter's name, my grandson's name, my name, my partner's name. So that's awesome. I like that. <laughs> and then um, recently, you were part of the, is it Los Angeles Veg Fest? Yes. And you did a, a virtual fashion show. Tell us about that. Yeah, we're actually the virtual fashion show was for NARD, the 10 years of NARD, which is National Animal Rights Day. They are like all over the world and they wanted to, they always talk about mainly food and everything and they wanted to include fashion. So we did a virtual fashion runway <laughs> where we had, uh, I don't remember how many, but many different brands that are, of course, 100% vegan and ethically made. And all the models that you see, they are all vegan activists. So that was beautiful. And uh, we showcased again the virtual fashion show for uh, Veg Fest Los Angeles. Uh, they did an entire event, special fashion. We had an amazing panel with uh, inspiring people talking about vegan fashion. So yeah, that was really, really good. <laughs> and you co-hosted that, and you also co-hosted that, right? With a friend of mine, Joshua Awesome. Exactly, yes. he is I awesome. Love is really awesome <laughs> yeah that was really good we talk about you know we try to always redefine veganism and sustainability because people don't realize that a vegan product cannot always be sustainable but a sustainable product should always be vegan because uh, if it's not vegan it's not sustainable for the life of the animal and if it's not ethically made it's not sustainable for the life of the worker so it's an entire like state of mind we need to to redefine veganism and sustainability in fashion and yeah that's what and, i believe <laughs> and that's what some people don't realize sometimes is that it's not just a diet it's not about eating your veggies and leaving animals off your plate because if you do that and you still wear a leather coat that came from the flesh of a cow or from you know fur from a dog or a chinchilla or whatever you still hurting the animals and that's what we're all about vegans is about not hurting anyone i mean whether it be a human animal or a you know non-human animal yeah yeah and it's actually not only the animals people don't realize but they often say oh this is a byproduct it's not a byproduct we use way more chemicals than just the skin of the animals we need chemicals like over like 20 chemicals uh, to bleach the color to remove to burn the hair from the, the skin, you know, and to make sure it doesn't rot on your shoulder. So uh, like it's it's so many chemicals that it become a brand new product. And then it's, it's horrible for the environment, horrible for the workers that are working in, in those huge pool of chemicals. And, and yeah, like just Google it and you will see, you will never want to put anything like that on you. Yeah. <laughs> putting somebody else's flesh on you, right? And yeah. after it's been chemically processed and then that's how it comes sometimes people say, oh, I'm allergic to wool or I'm allergic. No, you <laughs> are allergic because you have a, someone's dead skin on you and it's filled with exactly. poisonous chemicals and now it's affecting like, your skin, right? Mm. Yeah, it's for sure it's gonna infect you. People don't realize, you know, they, they make sure of what they put on their skin when they put cream because they know how your uh, skin can absorb, you know, all this cream and everything. But when you wear clothes, it's exactly the same, especially warm uh, clothes like uh, leather, then it makes you sweat. So you open and, and then all those chemicals can go in your skin. And like people don't make that connection and they don't realize how dangerous even for their own health it can be to wear leather. Exactly. <laughs> you know, when, when I went, went vegan and I see that you're, you're expressing the same kind of thing, it's like, you start learning a whole bunch of educational stuff that you never knew before. Like you would never have thought about that, but when you use cleaning products that are not vegan or, you know, or cruelty free, then you're putting those same chemicals into your house in down the water drain. So it's, it's all affected. So clothing as well. And that I had not thought about clothing. I thought about makeup and um, cleaning products and stuff like that, but I had not even thought about what you said, the you know the processing of this clothing, leather and fur yeah. and stuff like that. 
Yeah, the uh, study that was made that proved that leather is by far the worst, the production of leather is the worst in the fashion industry for the environment, like by far, like, like you see the statistic, like leather is like that and the rest is start like smaller like that. So it's really the worst for the environment. Mm -hmm. And also I, I, w I even want to go more far because you, you say, you talk about journey. I love that you use that word because veganism is a real journey. And I get to a point right now that um, I wake up every day so happy of what I'm doing with fake, with Arsayo, with all this. And, uh, and for example, fake, we all help each other, we all collaborate, and we don't, I, I don't make money with that, to be honest. And that's, that's what I realized, veganism, like I never be as successful in my life that I am right now, because to me, veganism helped me to redefine success. And success is waking up every day, being happy of doing what you do and being aligned with your value. And, um, and yeah, that's all journey. And, and I, I'm still learning. We're all learning all our life. But yeah, that's what I feel like. Veganism helped me to be happy and successful. <laughs> Thank you. And John, um, Jonathan, thank you so much for joining us today. I surely appreciate you. Um, you. I will have information on the social media pages for um, Vegan Pulse, and we'll talk to you again soon. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining us in another episode of the Vegan Pulse. Remember to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out our blog. If you have a pulse, you have a purpose. Live vegan. <laughs>